what other condition do you need to meet in order to be able to access? The other condition is to go to this file called sshd underscore config and allow password authentication. In other words, allow EC2 to be able to SSH into the remote server using the password that you just assigned to EC2. Right? What is the name? Are you getting it? Yes. Sir. All right. So once you once you do that. Do you want us to do that? We already did that, right? Okay, let's do it. How do you go to this file? Look at the file here. It's a configuration file. Configuration file, anytime you are looking for them, always go to the directory X. Yes. We go All to right. them one by one. It's not as we are going to run the command at once. Eh, uh, yes, you get to some level where you can just copy this whole command and run it. Out. But because we are still learning, uh, let us just learn how to get from here. Mm -hmm. But if you know, like me, if I wanted to do this, I'll just copy the whole command and do it. Work, work. Okay. Yeah. For people just starting, let's move from from floor two to floor three so that we see the real file and then we'll now VI into the room. That way, the magic, the abracadabra. All right, so where are we so that we know where we are going to? Print working there. Why in X? Uh, this is not where we want to be. We want to be in X. We do CD backslash X. And if you want, if you remember, I can just do SSC straight away. Yeah. LS minus L. This is the file you are interested in. Be careful, don't make the mistake that I made. This is the one that has a D. Mm -hmm. So maybe this time you try nano. If you feel, ah, why is you always using uh, D? I try nano and use nano to edit. Ah, okay. Error because uh, I'm not entitled. To, let me put here permission denied. So exit is a uh, control. So for me to be able to do this, I either have to be root or use, I think it's better to be root. That was all the power. So switch user sudo sc. So I'm root now. Where am I? So I'm still here. Okay. ls minus l. So I do, let me just do my vi. I'm all used to do. So vi this file. Right? So it's that. Then I scroll down and look for that password authentication and then it was originally no i changed it to yes hmm? is it too long a process no no right so i changed it to yes i remember that you are SSHing from one system to another so basically whatever you do here you also want to do it here because what they use align password authentication from here but you are not aligning there just what's completed it's two-way handshake not one way so i also come here and i do the same but before i go there i do the same thing I save my changes. And then because I just edited a configuration file, I will be doing this in DevOps a lot. We'll be editing a lot of configuration files. That was why we learned BI. So every time we edit a configuration file, the way to tell the system that there is a change in that configuration file, don't use the old one anymore, use the new one, is to say system CTL, system control, yeah. start or start. Restart assumes that it started before, so you are just restarting it. Then the name of the service that you just change the configuration, it could be networking, it could be FTP, it could be anything. In this case, it's SSHD. That's the name of it, it's the SSH demo. You want to do that? You are done. And then the enable says, yes, I know that you have restarted. I don't have problem in this session. But subsequently, in future, anytime I restart the system, please always restart this new one, not the old. So to do that, you say enable. All right, that's it. You are all done. So by completing that, you have met all the all the requirements here. In. Uh, you are now um, ready to SS. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yeah, like I said earlier on, that um, we can as well run this old command, vi forward slash f. Etsy for slash SSH. Can you can we run it and see what the outcome? Okay, so we just copy from here, control C, and then we go to yeah, it doesn't matter where we are, just mm -hmm. paste it. Oh, remove the dot and then just paste us straight to the we come here straight and change the password identification. Yes. And save. And save, yeah. Is that what you wanted to see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we are done then. <clears throat> Any other question? So that is the entire process. So what I just wanted to show you with all of this was one, the meaning of pinging and the fact that you use pinging to test connectivity. And two, how you can connect one server because you do this all of the time. How you can connect one server to another server and be able to access the second server from the phone remotely using SS. That's all I wanted to show you. And if you understand that, then you have really understood a lot because this is something you do regularly. Like Everything we have learned today, you need them in there. And normally it takes like one month of training to get you to understand this. So if you can manage to understand it now, only after two weeks. Any questions? Yeah, I have a question. Okay. Since we've established the connection between both servers and we're able to SSH into the other server, can we 
reverse it and then SSH from server yes, uh, one to server two. Definitely. And if we have any problem, we should be able to troubleshoot. Not like we'll be yeah. troubleshooting. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to. Okay. Let's go on. All right. So uh, I don't. I don't think we mentioned anything off one way or the But let's try again. So from first of. The last time we were able to SSH from here, right? Let's try again. So what are we able to do this time? Mm -hmm. Let's enter the command. SSH as EC2 user at the remote system, which is 64.89.9. Alright? Are you sure you want to connect? Yes. Right. So this is what connect. Did we connect? You remember we used the rain server one already. So we already SSH'd into server one. Into server and one. And then we, we we repeated the same thing. So Maybe we should no. SSH back to server two. So we have exited now. Exit. So we are now back from server one. So every time you SSH, remember to exit to. This one has happened many times. I will enter command and enter and enter and enter. It will not be working. Only for me, not knowing that I'm working on the Nigeria server. And meanwhile, I was expecting the command to work on the US server. Just because I refuse to say log out or exit. So with log out or exit now, we are back to server one, right? Yeah. Do we need to go back to the roots to be able to see? Uh, on server two. Mm, this server two, we're on server two. Yes, mm -hmm. but it's still showing server one. So okay. okay, so we are back to server two. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So now we are sure we're in server two. Switch user to EC two. Right? So for sure we know now that we're in server two. Let us SSH into server one. SSH into server one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it says, what's my password? Once it asks you, it means you're on the right side. Mm -hmm. All right. So from server two, we are now working in about one. The SSH was also no complaint. If you now say, uh, what command do you want to enter now? Make, di hmm? okay. Make directory and call it IO. LS minus LA. And then you see IO. This is not in this server. This work you just did is on this server. If you come here now and you do, uh, go back to EC2 user, you choose that to EC2 user and go to the home directory, let this screen and do ls minus ls, you're going to see IO there. But even though you created it here, you're actually working right there. That's the idea. Anything you are doing here, you are doing inside. If I create a file now and put it inside IO, I am doing it here. I will see it. I think I was doing it. Anyway, your question is now that we have successfully done it from, we have successfully SSH into server one from here. And we also SSH to server two from here. That was your yes. question, right? Okay, yes. let's try. Exit. So we are back to server. So let's come here and SSH into server. Okay. So what's the command? SSH at uh, SSH as EC two user uh, as server. Uh, okay. I wanted to copy, but let me just three dot nine one one five two seven. All right. Permission denied. So it's time to find out why. All right. So permission denied. This is 3.91.15. The IP address is correct. 